Oh man, this is cool. Yeah, this it's like a 73. So this is my dad's bike, and I've always wanted to restore it. Let's get this get, out. Yeah, let's get it out and take a look at it. If you follow the show, you'll understand why many people love American Restoration. The show was one of the watchable reality shows with great presentation. Apart from the fact that it was satisfying to watch old and rusted items restored into their glory, the show also had outstanding casts with excellent restoration knowledge. There's no doubt that the show has everything in it. Family dynamics, customer satisfaction, creative suspense, humor, drama, and the whole works. Everyone has their unique abilities and quirks, and it all comes together pretty much flawlessly. The before and after project results are always astonishingly jaw-dropping. If you were a restoration fanatic, then you know Rick gave us fire while it lasted. Safe to say, Rick Dale broke away from Pawn Stars who deliver one of the best spinoffs that has ever graced our TV. To the surprise of fans of the show, Rick disappeared in the seventh season, followed by a plethora of speculation about his unannounced disappearance. So what really happened to Rick Dale? Nothing has really changed with Rick Dale since his last appearance on the show. He's still the same Rick we used to know. Not really, actually. If we should use Rick Dale's Instagram page to judge how he's doing, we might as well say nothing much has been going on for him recently because he has only posted a picture this year. Well, Rick seems to have found a new attraction, and he no longer does refurbishing as much. He stays active on social media and appears to be having so much fun with his wife Kelly and children. Also, he has custom embroidery and a laser cut shop called My Best Fawn Ford Creations in Las Vegas. He also sells Christmas hangings and unique merchandise. If you need any of those, you know who to call. That was a joke. By the way, he published a book called Classic Soda Machine. Meanwhile, all clues suggest that Rick has closed down his Las Vegas restoration company. The company is now a tourist site for fans willing to pay to be shown around. The only thing left running is the company's website, with all his store merchandise such as t-shirts, mugs, and fridge magnets, along with some restored vintage items available for interested parties. Unfortunately, the reviews from fans on tour there have been terrible. Fans thought that Rick overcharged the tour with ridiculous fees, especially considering that the tour was short. There were two types of tours offered to the public. For the $5 10-minute tour, fans could only peek in through the windows with no interaction with the crew and no photos allowed. They were also given little access to the gift shop. Fans thought that the $5 tour would provide more access, but aside from photos being allowed and a chance to view a few restored pieces, there were no more additional perks. However, if fans gave an additional $25 in the package, they got to have a photo taken with Rick by the official photographer, but they needed to wait for it to be mailed to them. It wasn't clear if the TV producers were involved in the tour or if they received a percentage of the takings, though it was rumored that the negative reviews reached the ears of the TV executives, they were worried about its impact on the show itself. Like most TV cancellations, producers didn't offer any official explanation as to why the show ended unceremoniously. In 2016, two years after its cancellation, the TV show was aired again by History Channel, but this time it starred five different restoration shops and a different cast. It didn't take long before fans heard from Rick again, as he posted an emotional video, not really explaining what had happened, but clearly hurt and displeased by it. He thanked everyone who sent messages of support on Facebook. Before ending the short video, he encouraged his fans to leave their complaints on the official American Restoration page on the History Channel website, saying that it was essential to let everyone know what they all felt about it. While Rick's crew was never hired again to star in the rebooted show, he felt vindicated since the show didn't advance after one season. The new cast never resonated with the fans of the original show, and they also failed to achieve the TV ratings the producers were hoping for. Thus, no further episodes were ordered. There was a report of an alleged petition initiated by a loyal fan filed at Change.org to put pressure on the channel to bring Rick's crew back on History Channel. But unfortunately, the petition wasn't supported by enough fans, so it never really gained any footing. It was said that the petition only got a total of 15 signatures, so clearly not enough were interested in seeing them back on TV. Unfortunately, Rick didn't get the support he needed, but that must have been due to various allegations that were leveled against him while the show was still airing. 
there were complaints about shoddy and deficient restoration work. It was pretty unfortunate that there were allegations that Rick had a habit of overcharging his clients with unfinished jobs. For instance, there's an allegation that an 85-year-old man named Angel Delgadillo paid for Rick's services and even let his show, American Restoration, film in his own memorabilia shop to let Rick repair a vintage jukebox. They agreed that Angel would pay Rick $4,000 to restore it to its original quality. However, when Angel received the jukebox, it wasn't fixed. On the outside, it was clean and polished, but it wasn't working. The problem was that Rick had already cashed a check, and Angel had a hard time reaching him for an explanation. It was only when the story became viral that Rick took the appropriate action and had it repaired without additional expense. After his short emotional video was posted, no one heard from Rick again. It was probably because the Change.org petition failed miserably. He finally moved on with his life. There are fans who wish he is doing more than these though. We won't blame them for desiring more from Rick. Rick is a lot of talent rolled into one. Rick Dale was the owner of the shop the show revolved around, and he managed to win hearts through his incredible talent and sincere approach. He wasn't just a vintage restoration guru, but also a metal artist. It's not at all surprising since he once revealed he has always been keen on refurbishing items since he was a kid. The producers of Pawn Star saw his raw talent, they approached him, and the rest is history. He made his first appearance on the reality TV show Pawn Stars on the History Channel around 2012 as a professional and consultant. Going on Pawn Star was like the push he needed. Having aced his role, the production team suggests he get a show of his own. Rick was eventually convinced, and the show became an instant success becoming History Channel's most loved. The initial fellowship of the show was fantastic, but it dropped as days passed. For some people, they had the most excellent experience from seasons 1 to 4, and succeeding seasons weren't anywhere close, according to their judgment. To these people, the show fell off the radar after the first few seasons and began to follow the concept of fake reality shows. On top of that, they alleged that American Restoration started doing less of actual restoration, focusing more on the lives of characters, like who bought a dog, who got into trouble in school, and at some point, the focus was on Rick's marriage to Kelly. The lowest point has to be how old and rusty items changed to brand new ones without seeing much of how the restoration happened. As the show evolved, it became less technical. The introduction of Leonard's character didn't make things better. It, in fact, declined the quality of the show more. His character was just too dramatic and unnecessary. Recent estimates indicate that Rick Dale has a net worth of approximately $2.5 million. His net worth might not be a lot of money by Hollywood standards, but it's certainly something to go by. And with his incredible skills as a restorer and metal artist, it's unlikely that he's going to rest on his laurels for too long. Rick's restorations may be a thing of the past, but the Dale family legacy lives on in our memories and in the reruns. American Restoration may not be on TV anymore, but during Rick's participation in its first six season from 2010 to 2014, the series was seen in over 87 countries and showed in 120 episodes. According to the official TV ratings released during those times, the series had a weekly average of close to 3 million viewers. It was also reported that an episode from the show titled Pick, Pawn, and Polish received the highest rating ever on History Channel as it gained over 6.5 million viewers. So, with all the flaws that later flooded the show, the show still remains top on the list of watchable reality shows. All you have to do is ignore the clowning characters and their shenanigans and focus more on experiencing a view of satisfying restoration. If many people had done that, perhaps the ratings wouldn't have dropped and Rick would still be active on TV. Or what do you think?